Alright, finally the class is out. Carly is playable now. And um, I hope it's gonna be a good class. So, yeah. But uh, we'll be playing her for quite a bit. Uh, hoping that uh, it's something fun and a long term. A long term investment, hopefully, this time around. Alright, now having my cash items equipped. And uh, this is basically all I've prepared for Kali. Uh, beforehand. Uh, it's not too much. But uh, it, it's, it's quite a decent amount. It's a good start. So yeah, let's use them and uh, get on with the Kali's journey. Alright, first job feeling quite decent. Uh, can't really get a good read off of this, but uh, I mean, I'm enjoying it at the moment. Alright, the story is finally over now. We finally get to actually go and play the game and enjoy the class. Alright, we're messing a bit with uh, monster cards and uh, we managed to get a few decent monster cards. Uh, primarily the well, with item drop rate and a meso. And then we move on to get the college journey rewards and uh, expand my inventory slot a bit. So, a uh, bit of quality of life upgrades here and there. And uh, yeah, the college journey level 100 gives me the, the level 100 uh, frozen gear, which is very nice. It helps a lot with grinding. And I cube my emblem to unique. Uh, without knowing that uh, you actually get a free unique emblem later on. So that is that really. But um, the next thing we did is that um, used honor XP to get my inner ability to unique and then uh, we used we tried to at least we tried to use uh, some miracle circulators to get it to legendary because I do not want to waste honor XP to just get it to legendary that way because that would take a lot of honor XP which is more important for rolling for a good secondary line or the primary line. So here we go, we bought 10 more America Circulators. Never give up, you know, never give up. And uh, you know, this is good, no regrets. Uh, I like during during the using those America Circulators back in the day, I felt horrible, but uh, the, the good thing is that we did manage to get it to Legendary, even though it took 18 tries. But uh, the reason why I wanted it to get the legendary very early as possible is because I want that 18 or uh, the 20 percent uh, or the 20 percent chance to skip a cooldown. All right, it's Zakum time. Did some of the gear ups, and I uh, should be very easy enough. Yes, and that that's a pretty nice amount of levels. Very nice. And afterwards, we grinded here for a few levels, and uh, voila! Well, level 150. I, I did train a few other maps as well, but then we skipped those. And uh, getting these fake Fafnir items, so we're now at quite a decent amount. And the next thing we did is that uh, we defeated Chaos Horntail. Uh, I was very lost with how Kali works. As you can see, there are those chakrams right there, just chilling. But I was just not using my hex skills more like often enough so that I would be triggering them very often. Uh, so that's that's a bit that's a bit bad. But I did figure it out later on. But uh, yeah, we got all three accessories, which is very nice. And then I proceeded to uh, cube them off for six percent luck and uh, star force them out of ten stars. And then we finished the uh, horn tail pendant with a flame and we got a pretty decent flame so yeah nice from level 175 onwards we leveled at Critias doing the Critias quest line it's actually very nice XP and then I moved to another C to get myself the treasure hunter ring do three quests and uh, you get the first coin so I get the, the ring yes very much nice and uh, with the Rune still active. I decided to go train for a bit, and uh, after that, we'll move on and um, upgrade the treasure hunter ring. And here's the result. Very nice. And uh, let's continue grinding. 
You're gonna get that level 200 on the first day. I mean, that's the bare minimum you gotta get. And uh, with this quest done, we're level 200. And um, it's lore time. So, who is this guy? Oh! Huh? The next thing is to do the Maple Alliance questline. It's a very quick one, so I get uh, the passive skill. Uh, this is a quite a decent damage increase, and uh, not talking about these three goddesses. And I'm just gonna say, the grandest one is a baddie. It's a really good baddie. Just, just saying, you know. And uh, here we go. We're now fifth job. Very nice. And uh, yeah. Now with the Vanishing Journeys questline done, I just need to skip. And uh, Wong Store around daily quests. Can never forget to do that as well. Very nice. And uh, it's time to open some nodes. And uh, of course, the weekly quest. I thank god this is weekly now. It's so nice that it is weekly. And now for the special moments. Use all of these for that sweet XP. And I've saved up quite a decent amount of these XP coupons. So use them real quick. We use these till I'm level 207. There we go, level 205 now. Man, it's so easy. So easy. Level 206. There we go, tier 7, and now we use three of these to be got from the college journey. And there we go, level 210. How much is it now? Okay, it's, it's not too much. So yeah, level 210, very nice. We'll get some more rewards from the college journey. Alright, let's open the rewards. There we go. And let's open some more nodes. And uh, here are my trio nodes. It's nice that we managed to get the four trios. So it's not too confusing. It did take me like 20 minutes to organize it. But yeah, let's claim this now. And uh, it's time to get myself to level 220. Using these growth potions and the XP coupons. And of course the college journeys growth potions as well. So let's use these first. There we go. Ma, it's so easy. There we go. We're already level 220. And uh, we're gonna be claiming the Dominator Pendant because if you're like if you're a new player, claiming the Absolute 17 star is a much better option. But because if you can get a uh, low mean carries or something like that, you should definitely just get the Dominator Pendant. I feel like Dominator Pendant is more worth it in the long run, so it took that. And uh, more node openings and uh, flamed uh, this this item. And there we go. And uh, let's finish it up by putting the hyper stats. And the next thing we did is that uh, we did all of the root abyss bosses. Now we're gonna have to do these five times, so we get to do chaos root abyss to get uh, the five new items. Or the Ruda Beast gear, which will be BIS for quite a very long time. Alright, so I managed to get myself a Lomian trade. And uh, let's get the cape, there we go. And why the cape? It, well, it's because of the double miracle time, that is for the cape. And uh, let's get the shoulder as well, there we go. Alright, let's flame the, the cape first. We're hoping for something like a 70 luck or above, 
that would be ideal. Well, that works very good. That works very good. And uh, there we go. Now let's move to cubing them to epic at least. Alright, they're both rare now. There we go. Got the first one to epic. And, uh, okay, no, no, all right. Um, please. There we go, nice. We got it to epic as well. There we go. And, uh, yeah. Let's blow the rest of the cubes on the shoulder. Because the cape is gonna go to legendary on the double miracle time. And, uh, yeah. Very nice. And that is something, yeah, worth keeping. There we go. And the last thing we're gonna do is the Star Force both of the items to 10 stars. Another fail. And another fail. And another fail. There we go, 10 stars. Nice. Let's see the damage increase from this. All right, not too shabby. Uh, let's go do normal Magnus. Put the Death Blossom and then use Void Burst. There we go. And then no badge. All right. All right, what the fuck is this? I can't use my skills that I put on my skill tab, except for the, for the iron flower gun. That is the only skill I can use. So basically I have to manually click them like this. Like, what the fuck is this? Why do you have to do that? This is so retarded. And this is so slow. Okay, so I did the Pino trade, Princess No trade, and uh, uh, quite lucky that I managed to get a Kana's treasure. So, yeah, let's upgrade that real quick. Okay, now it's 10 stars and um, unique 10 stars. Very nice. It's quite a nice damage increase. So, yeah. Alright, let's go do our car room now. Should be easy peasy. And I dodged that with the Void Burst. I'm, I'm just looking at the footage and I'm kind of cringing that I did not use the Death Blossom there before. But uh, I, yeah, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, we defeated it. No Dominator Pendant. Uh, it is what it is. We'll get it one day. Alright, so the last thing we did on the first day is uh, Choo Choo. And uh, yeah, that's it really. So thank you guys for watching the video. And uh, apologies for the bad audio. It's not gonna happen again. So yeah, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and uh, comment something down so the algorithm will like me a bit more. But uh, anyway, if you want more of this, just subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.